Hello, I'm Dr Rupert Suckling and I'm the Director of Public Health for Doncaster Council. Welcome to my annual report for 2018. This year it is a focus on mental health as mental health is a key to our overall health and wellbeing. By mental health I mean the combination of feeling good and functioning effectively, not merely the absence of mental illness. There are three main contributors to our mental health, our circumstances, our personal resources and the activities we focus our energy on. This report focuses on five activities, the five ways to well-being that can create better mental health for ourselves, our friends, our families and our communities. Everyone learns from each other, you can find out how people interpret different things. It's a great way, if you like, dissecting fiction and non-fiction, but also it's a social group. So not only do you talk about the books and reading, you talk about your lives, you talk about your holidays and your family. So it's nice just to, to come along for a chat. And in regards to reading, it's so important now because we know that there are so many health benefits directly linked to reading. Yes, you'll become smart. But more importantly, you'll have reduced stress levels, it prevents the onset of Alzheimer's and dementia, and you'll live longer just by reading, which is fantastic, and, and who doesn't want that? Uh, for the younger children, we have lots of rhyme times across the borough. Children come to hear songs and stories, which as well as being fun, helps them develop language and literacy skills. I also feel that it's got an important part to play in preparing them for school, in that it teaches them to observe, interact, sit down and, and listen to stories and socialise with other children. Not only is it important for the children, I think it's important for the parents and carers as well because the groups kind of become social networks for them too. My son did encourage me, my son up in Scotland, you can get yourself out mum, get yourself out and I, I talk a talk but don't walk the walk but eventually I went into the library and they were volunteering, that started my volunteer career and then I heard about Age UK, volunteered for that, was able to take the friends to the library so they're meeting lots of new friends and it's the easiest job I've ever done but quite time consuming if you want to put a lot of time into it but it's brilliant advise anybody to give it a try you don't need to give up a lot of time you can give as little or as much as they want um, the people you, you're paired with become your friends really good friends and they're marvellous really marvellous I don't know who gets the most out of it them or me really it's brilliant A third of our population is inactive and we have a, a middle population who are active as well. And by being physically active, we all know it's, it helps us health-wise. It reduces heart disease and stroke, certain types of cancer, type 2 diabetes. It also helps with depression and mental well-being. In addition, it also helps people be more aspirational. If you're physically active, you're more likely to be in employment and do better in education. And therefore, it helps our population engage in the aspirations of Doncaster and the growth that you see around the borough. So the key message is we want to get you, as population of Doncaster, moving to get Doncaster moving and support you in any form whatsoever to do that. And hopefully these programmes with Get Doncaster Moving will actually see that growth start. Over the past number of years there's been a closer coming together with public health working with uh, Green Open Space. One of the most recent introductions has been outdoor gym equipment. Over the past 10 years, we've been slowly introducing these to parks and open spaces and they are proving popular. More and more people are starting to use them and it's a free asset. Anyone can go and use these and it's basically a free gym in any park or open space. We do provide a large number of play facilities, but then also within parks and open spaces, we have got just the element of adventure. We've got woodlands, we've got country parks, and there are urban parks and open spaces that you can just go and explore and enjoy. Well, about 12 months ago, um, you know, whilst visiting our tenants, um, we decided that there were quite a lot of people, you know, suffering from social isolation, and they hadn't really got a lot of furniture to sustain the tenancies. So working with Well North, uh, we decided that um, when a void property became available, um, instead of actually throwing all the furniture away, we decided that we would try and help out our new tenants to sustain the tenancies by recycling um, these um, the, the bits of furniture that were left in the properties. 
We've been um, doing it a year now, and obviously with, with your help, um, people are sustaining their tenancies, and um, the quality of life that they're now um, doing is, is just 100% better than the wood if we wouldn't have helped them in the first place. Thank you for watching my 2018 annual report and the focus of this report has been on mental health. And we know it's not just about the absence of mental illness, mental health is much more about life satisfaction, it's about happiness, it's about feeling worthwhile and it's about having low anxiety. We know that there are things that we can do as individuals that will help us uh, maintain our mental health. So by connecting with other people, being active, giving of our time, taking notice and learning. But sometimes we know that that's not enough. So the society that we live in with debt, poverty, poor quality jobs, poor housing can make that all much harder. Which is why we as a local authority and as partners want to sign up to the Mental Health Prevention Concordat and through that we're going to use all our resources to make sure that we've got a much better approach to, to mental health. And that's why I'm keen that we pledge to be a zero suicide borough and that we always ask twice when we're talking to people and asking about their mental health and well-being. So I hope you enjoy the report and I hope you pledge to do more to improve not only your own mental health and that of your family but the mental well-being of Doncaster. Thank you.